Hey guys and girls, you know, the spawn is already happening uh, down in the deep south, South Florida for sure, Okeechobee, all those big old female bass are on the bed down there. Uh, my buddy Scott Martin, he set some kind of big record down there, caught over 30 pounds every day. Uh, I heard somebody say that he caught two nine pounders in the last hour of the tournament or something like that. He had the big fish of the tournament and uh, and the second big fish of the tournament also, I believe. That's just how much he was, he was on those big fish. How about making the spawn really, really simple and really, really easy so you can understand it? And, and tell, let me tell you real quickly where you can fish, where you can fish, how you can fish to make that happen, to make that really work. First of all, I break the spawn down into four periods of time, not three, not a pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn, but I, I have a pre-pre-spawn time also. I call that foreplay at times. No, not really. I just throw that in there. But a pre-pre-spawn period of time is when the bass first move in to the shallow water. They do that in here in Oklahoma, usually about the middle of February. And, uh, and that is a pre-pre-spawn area. They're, 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 the, they're, they're being driven by the spawn. When you understand this, when you figure this out, you're going to be able to follow the fish from now until about the end of May. So you'll be able to follow the fish everywhere they are. And when you go fishing at any time, you just want to find out what, where, what stage are most of the fish in. Now, they'll be fish in one or two stages at the same time. They won't all be in the, all in one stage, pre-pre-spawn or spawn or whatever, all at the same time. It's different times that they're in because they can't all spawn at once, really. So, But the pre-pre-spawn period is when the bass first move in to the areas that they're going to spawn. So you find the spawning areas where they're going to spawn, the coves and bays and and places where the fish actually are going to spawn. You may have found fish back there before. Or it's the areas where you have pea gravel, gentle sloping banks. And if you find like uh, north shorelines, it's got a gentle sloping bank to it. Those are the type of areas they're going to spawn in. Now that's where they're going to actually build their bed. But the, the pre pre spawn is when those fish move out of the deeper water. And we've got to realize where they are in the deepest, toughest, hardest part of the winter, which is usually January 15th to February 15th here in Oklahoma. It's different in different parts of the country. So you got to adjust all this to where you live, to where you live. But, uh, but here in Oklahoma, the fish at the deep part of the winter, like I said, January 15th to February 15th, usually here in Oklahoma, is they will gravitate and they'll be in the outside bins or be in the bins, not necessarily outside. They can be both inside, outside bins, but, uh, but they'll be in the bins of river channels and creek channels. So you can take and look and find your spawning areas where the bass might end up spawning. Find you points that are close to bends in the river channels and the creek channels. Those fish, they school up in the wintertime, so there's a lot of them there. They will start moving to those points. Now, they won't stay on those points. They'll move to those points, but they won't stay on them. They'll move to them, and they'll be there uh, usually in the afternoon. Bright, sunshiny afternoons are really, really good. Calm days, really, really good. Uh, days when the sunshine can warm that water up a bit. Now, they don't move really, really shallow. They'll usually be about 8 to 12 foot deep. And they'll move up there. That is that pre-pre-spawn period. They're moving to the places to where they're going to end up going back and spawning in. And they move up there and they feed, which is great because they're easier to catch when they're, when they're feeding. They move up there and when they're feed. The baits that I use are, I like spinner baits. Red man spinner baits good. You're going to need to run that thing down around five to eight feet probably to make that happen. About five to eight feet to make that happen. Uh, jerk baits work really, really good. So particularly suspended jerk baits. Jerk them down there around six, seven, eight feet. Pause, let them sit there, not float back up to the tox truck. Suspended jerk baits, uh, swimming a jig through there. Those type baits that you can get down and fish in that area. Uh, and the ones you can fish the best with in that area probably be the good ones going to catch them. Crawfish color works real good. A shad color works good. But crawfish color probably works best in that pre-pre-spawn area. Swim a jig through there. That works as, that works good too. Uh, that's the pre-pre-spawn area. Now, once they start moving back to where they're going to spawn, they leave that point and they start heading back into areas where they're going to build their bed. That is what I call the pre-spawn. That's when those fish are moving back. And, and, and as they're moving back, they will n normally move along the north shoreline because it's usually a little bit warmer uh, as opposed to the south shoreline of these coves and pockets. So find your pockets. It's got the north shoreline uh, on it that, that's, and, and find that's got some type of cover in there because as these bass move, they don't just swim from the point to the back to the end. Some will. Most of them take their time getting back there. This period of time might last a week or 10 days or a couple of weeks, depending on the weather. And re remember that the weather is volatile during all of this period. 
period of time. You have cold fronts, cold nights, warm nights, rain, storm, sometimes snow. And so it affects all of that spawning activity. So it, they, they, that's why they transition sometimes pretty fast. Sometimes they transition pretty slow. Looks like we're going to have early spring this year. Looks like we're going to have early spring. So they're moving back to that, that area. That's that pre-spawn. Again, great thing to catch them with is a spinnerbait or a jig. This is a really jig and spinnerbait time. And they will stop on certain pieces of cover. And when they stop on that cover, <coughs> that's when we can catch them those spinner baits around the cover down those banks they're not down on a point they're not backing in they're moving down those banks so then we fish those banks going to a pocket you simply fish the north shore line all the way to the back they get back into the spawning area that's when they're in the in the spawn that's just, you got the pre pre-spawn pre-spawn now you have the spawn that's when the males are building the the the, the nest <coughs> excuse me the males are the males are building nests. the females are back there also a lot of people say, well, the only thing that's up is males. Well, the females are there too. Where the boys are, that's where the girls are. That's exactly right. So the males are usually up there in two and three, four foot of water, depending on the clarity, five foot of water, depending on how clear the water is, building those nests. You see them swimming around. You look and look and you see nothing but males. The females are normally out here in five to eight foot of water. Five to eight foot of water. When they're out on that point and that pre pre spawn, they're usually eight to 12. Now they're shallow when they move down that north shoreline. Now you're back in the spawning area. The big females are usually, if you're up there looking and seeing those males up there building bed and swimming around and all that, females are usually right under your boat. A big spinner bait fished in that five to eight foot of water, five to seven foot of water. A big crank bait fished in that water. Oh, that works really good. I like to probably then start going into bluegill color, even though the bluegill are not spawning yet. But that, that's what I like to do in that type of situation is go into those bluegill color baits. But uh, shad color baits work good. Crawfish color still work good. When they're on the nest, that's when you see them on the nest. You can see the nest. You, they're there. And, and, and a lot of fishermen now are without a doubt finding spawning fish with their live scope, seeing them out there and not even seeing the fish with their eyes, but seeing them with their eyes, it's on that Garmin locator. And uh, and so that's how I understand talking to Roland. I haven't talked to Scott, uh, but I'm talking to Roland, that's how Scott Scott won that tournament. He was finding those fish on his Garmin live scope, seeing them out there in front of him. And he was able to tell the difference between big bass and big tilapia. They got big five, six, seven pound tilapia in, in Okeechobee down there. And, and he was being able to tell the difference is what Roland said. Roland said he can't tell the difference, but one of the way to identify fish easily with, with a Garmin live scope is get closer to them. The closer you get to them, the easier it is to identify the fish, the better it will draw the fish out for you. So if you're 15, 20 foot away from them, you're going to be able to identify the species of the fish a lot more than if you're 60 or 70 or 80 or 100 foot out, like some people fish their scope out there. So the closer you get to them, the easier they are to identify, whether they're a big tilapia or a carp or a gar or a catfish or a bass or a crappie or whatever you're trying to catch. So once they get on the bed, then you catch them with your, your, your regular bed, bed baits. And then you have the post spawn. Post spawn is real easy. They're right back out there where they were in that pre pre spawn area. The spawn broke down simply, easy to fish, figure out where the most of the fish in a lake you're fishing, what stage of that spawn there are, concentrate in that area, and you'll catch a lot of bass during the spawn. From now all the way till about the end of May. Guys and girls, go out there and whack them, whack them, whack them, and remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>